intact. It begins, In the temple of science there are many mansions, and very... And various indeed are they that dwell therein, and the motives that have led them there. Many take to science out of joyful sense of superior intellectual power. Science is their own special sport to which they look for vivid experience and the satisfaction of ambition. Many others are to be found in the temple who have offered the products of their brains in this altar for purely utilitarian purposes, where an angel of the Lord to come drive all the people belonging to these two categories out of the temple. It would be noticeably emptier, but there would still be some men, both present and past times, left inside. If the types we have just expelled were the only types there were, the temple would never have existed any more than one can have a, a wood consisting of nothing but creepers. Those who have found favor with the angel are somewhat odd, uncommunicative, solitary fellows, really less like each other than the hosts of the rejected. What has brought them to the temple? No single answer will cover. Escape from everyday life with its painful crudity and hopeless dreariness from the fetters of one's own shifting desires. A finely tempered nature longs to escape from his noisy, cramped surroundings to the silence of the high mountains where the eye ranges freely through the still pure air and fondly traces out the restful contours apparently built for eternity. The passage is from a 1918 speech by a young German scientist named Albert Einstein. Phaedrus had just finished his first year.